Today's story unfolds with the narrative of a young child, hardly unfamiliar with the world, whose deep affection for rescued canines has captivated numerous hearts online. Our tale begins with a touching event involving young Jackson, which quickly evolved into an uplifting and touching occurrence. Residing in Charleston, South Carolina, the Beds Hard family is made up of four-year-old Jackson, his mother, in their quaint home where they lead a relatively normal life, Jackson's father. A committed Marine is often deployed, leaving Jackson and his mother to handle everyday life by themselves. Mrs. Beds Hard, who stays at home full-time, dedicates herself to raising Jackson, instilling in him values of empathy and kindness. From an early age, Jackson displayed a level of energy that surpassed that of his peers, often spending extensive time playing in the yard. His mother, a fervent supporter of animal rights, introduced him to the practice of fostering dogs. This initiative began when the family moved from military housing to a suburban locale, where Mrs. Beds Hard saw a chance to merge her passion for animals with providing companionship for her son. Their home constantly welcomed foster dogs, making sure that they were always caring for at least three dogs, though at present, they are fostering four wonderful dogs and two cats. Among them, Gio, a dog known for his gentle and affectionate demeanor, became Jackson's favorite. The young boy would spend endless hours with his canine pals in the yard, often coming home caked in mud, a true sign of a joyful childhood spent outside. Jackson's mother observed his blossoming relationship with the foster animals with pride. She believed that this connection not only compensated for the slight emptiness left by his father's regular absences but also fostered a sense of responsibility and affection in Jackson. Indeed. Nurturing such relationships appeared to be a much more beneficial activity than many other hobbies a young child might pursue. Mrs. Beds Hard did not show partiality in the types of dogs they fostered. She made it a point to treat all dogs with equal affection and care, especially mindful of the prejudices surrounding certain breeds, such as the Pit Bull Terrier. Despite their notorious image and the negative views often linked with them due to their history in dogfighting, Mrs. Beds Hard was committed to giving every dog a chance to experience love and kindness. She understood that, like any breed, pit bulls require a significant amount of love. This narrative not only underscores the purity and affection of a young child but also highlights how caring for animals can have a positive effect. It stands as proof of how empathy and kindness can profoundly affect both humans and animals. Jackson discovered not only happiness and friendship through his interactions but also contributed to giving hope to needy animals breeds such as pit bulls, often perceived as intimidating due to their robust physiques, short coats, and muscular frames, are contrasted against softer-looking breeds like golden retrievers or border collies. What is frequently overlooked is the historical role these so-called power breeds played as nursery dogs. Attributed to their nurturing dispositions and strong protective instincts, sadly, the initial appeal of owning such breeds for their looks or supposed toughness often fades as these dogs mature and exhibit more demanding behaviors, leading to their high rates of abandonment and overrepresentation in shelters, where they are often the first to be surrendered and face difficulties in being rehomed due to widespread negative stereotypes, in some areas or living conditions. These breeds are even prohibited outright. Children, on the other hand, see past these societal prejudices and offer unconditional love where adults may falter, welcoming these dogs without bias. This was evident in young Jackson's case. He had a particular affection for pit bulls, his preferred breed, despite not being permitted to own one. Like many youngsters, Jackson received a weekly allowance for chores. A method his parents employed to instill responsibility and financial wisdom from an early age, he was motivated to save at least half of his allowance, embedding early lessons in financial responsibility. It is quite remarkable what a four-year-old can achieve. Jackson was engaged in fostering and caring for animals, an endeavor not even many adults consider, accompanied by her eager son, Mrs. Beds Hard regularly traveled across the state to volunteer at various animal rescue shelters. These journeys not only kept her involved in the rescue community but also gave young Jackson the chance to visit places he affectionately referred to as cute factories, due to the plethora of adorable animals. For Jackson, these excursions were more than mere visits, they provided opportunities to make new animal friends and learn invaluable life lessons. The staff at the shelters, who had been familiar with Jackson since his early childhood, 
were always impressed by his innate ability to bond with any rescued animal. His engagement from such a young age underscores the significant influence that a nurturing environment can have on a child's development and their attitudes towards animals. On one noteworthy day, Jackson and his mother set out on a meaningful trip in their car to the local animal shelters, a visit they often made to check on the welfare of the animals there, with his deeply empathetic nature. Jackson was dedicated to ensuring that the animals waiting for adoption were showered with affection and care. That day, they chose to explore a new shelter they had not visited before, the Charleston Animal Society. Jackson was excited about the opportunity to make new animal friends at a location he had never been to before. His enthusiasm was palpable as he stepped into the shelter, ready to eagerly meet every animal he could see. Nevertheless, his mother insisted that he courteously introduce himself to the shelter staff before moving to the area where the animals were kept. In this part of the shelter, Jackson encountered a scene that delighted his heart. Hidden in a corner was a black and white pit bull named Penelope by the shelter. However, Jackson thought Spot suited her better, owing to a distinctive black spot on her forehead. Overwhelmed with joy, Jackson hopped up and down. Instantly connecting with Spot through the fence that divided them, the shelter staff observed with smiles as they witnessed the happiness radiating from Penelope, now called Spot, thanks to this fresh attention, particularly since she had been given up by a previous owner who had misjudged her gentle demeanor as a potential danger to small children. Seeing the bond between Jackson and Spot, Jackson looked at his mother with a hopeful expression, pleading with her to adopt the sweet pit bull. Sadly, his mother had to refuse. She clarified that their potential upcoming move back to army housing presented a major obstacle. As pit bulls were not allowed there, she wished to shield Jackson from the disappointment of having to part with Spot if they were to relocate. Heartbroken but appreciative of his mother's insight, Jackson tearfully said goodbye to Spot. As they walked back through the shelter, Jackson's spirits were visibly saddened by the departure. Jackson's spirits were briefly uplifted during his visit to the shelter when he met Tank a large gray pit bull whose tail enthusiastically wagged upon receiving Jackson's attention. Despite his mother's consistent refusals for the same reasons as before, Jackson's distress was evident, prompting the shelter staff to intervene. In a heartfelt gesture of sympathy, they gathered around Jackson, who was heartbroken about not being able to take Spot or Tank home. The staff comforted him, explaining that his visits greatly uplifted the spirits of the animals. And his care and affection brought them immense joy. Touched by their reassurances, Jackson vowed to keep visiting and advocating for these animals until they were adopted, clinging to the hope that one day he might be able to take one home. When they realized they couldn't adopt Penelope and bring Tank home, their hearts sank. Among them was Jackson, a child whose only wish was to share his love with the needy animals. They all understood his mother's viewpoint. It was then that they suggested a guardian sponsorship program to Jackson's mother. Through this program, it could cover the adoption fees making it easier for potential adopters to take the animals home. Before his mother could fully grasp the suggestion, Jackson excitedly announced that he would use his allowance to sponsor the dogs. His altruistic gesture moved everyone there, and the staff struggled to keep their composure. Consequently, the story of Jackson's compassion quickly circulated online, drawing attention and educating a broader audience on how they could help rescue animals like Anna, even if they couldn't adopt them themselves. This touching story highlights the remarkable kindness that children can show. After listening to this tale, what are your impressions? We'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Your insights are valuable to us. Now, we have another engaging story. Let's proceed to the next one. Following a deeply distressing childbirth experience, Mr. Smith made the touching decision to adopt a dog for his son, who had been rendered paralyzed by the event. Hoping to inject some happiness and semblance of normality into their transformed lives, the arrival of the dog had an effect on their family that was beyond anything they could have imagined. On a blisteringly hot afternoon in a serene neighborhood in Montana, Terry Smith was grappling with a whirlwind of emotions. With a head full of swirling thoughts, he was on a quest to secure what he saw as a crucial solution to his concerns. Today was his son Timmy's first birthday, and he was intent on selecting a present that would leave a lasting impression. Before Timmy was born, Terry and his wife had imagined a lavish celebration for this significant event, including a grand party. However, their current reality was markedly different from their initial plans. The last few months had been exceptionally tough for Mr. Smith, and the thought of throwing a lavish, animal-themed party had turned into an unfeasible fantasy. Instead, 
he shifted his focus to something he believed could truly improve their circumstances, a dog. He had received numerous affirmations from friends and acquaintances that a pet could perform wonders for his son. Perhaps even exceeding the benefits of any available medical treatments, valuing his son more than anything, he wholeheartedly embraced this suggestion with the fervor of a man on a critical mission. Upon entering the animal shelter, Terry was instantly met with a symphony of excited barks and whimpers from a variety of charming dogs, all competing for his attention. Among them, an English toy terrier captured his attention with its curious gaze, having researched various dog breeds in advance. Mr. Smith was confident that this small yet feisty terrier would be the perfect companion for Timmy. It was compact enough not to be overwhelming during playtime but also known for its loyalty and protective nature, exactly the kind of companion his son needed during this tough period. The memory of Timmy's birth remained clear in Terry's mind, the eerie silence that enveloped the delivery room as his son was born, followed by the relief of hearing his strong cries. The birth had been traumatic for both the baby and his mother, with a period filled with intense anxiety for their safety, the medical team swiftly transferred Timmy to a different room, preventing Terry and his wife from holding him beforehand, the nurse's worried looks and the heavy air of uncertainty deeply unsettled Terry as he walked back and forth in the waiting area, he vividly remembered seeing his son in the hospital bed while the doctor detailed the serious nature of his condition. With the arrival of their new child, the Smiths' lives were profoundly changed in ways they had never anticipated, bringing them new strength and joy in the midst of their challenges. Timmy was born with a damaged spine due to excessive compression in the birth canal, causing significant harm to his fragile vertebrae. As a result, he was paralyzed from the waist down, and the medical outlook indicated that the likelihood of him ever walking was low, although not completely out of the question. Holding on to this slight hope, Terry, his father, accepted the doctor's advice for rigorous physical therapy, ready to pursue any option that might slightly improve his son's condition. While Terry remained optimistic, his wife was engulfed by despair. The knowledge that their son was paralyzed devastated her, and even though doctors assured her she was not at fault, she couldn't shake off the guilt. This emotional distress was further deepened by postpartum depression, which dimmed her once vibrant personality. She struggled to connect with Timmy, gradually pulling away from even attending his physical therapy sessions. To manage the escalating medical expenses, Terry often stayed at work late, leaving his wife alone with Timmy for extended periods. He was painfully aware of the lack of stimulation Timmy received during these times. Hoping to introduce some joy and potentially a therapeutic element to their household, Terry suggested they adopt a dog. Although his wife showed little interest, Terry clung to the belief that a pet might not only lift Timmy's spirits but also offer her some solace, scrapping their initial plans for an extravagant birthday celebration set before Timmy's birth. Terry decided it was an opportune moment to introduce a new, furry member to the family. After some research, he was drawn to an English toy terrier, attracted by its loyalty and affectionate nature, qualities he felt would be ideal for his son. Experts have suggested that engaging in physical activities with a playful dog could help strengthen the muscles of a paralyzed individual and boost their psychological resilience. While Terry was aware of the physical limitations, the dog wouldn't instantly enable Timmy to crawl or walk. He was convinced that the dog would transform his son's mundane days into exciting adventures filled with love and new challenges. After completing the adoption process, which included a fair amount of paperwork and a fee, Terry was filled with a mixture of excitement and hope as he prepared to welcome the English Terrier into their home, en route, brimming with anticipation for the new chapter they were about to embark on. Terry made a stop at a local bakery. He intended to pick up some treats not only for the family but also a special treat for their new four-legged friend, keen to see how this addition would impact their lives. With his son's birthday approaching, and knowing his wife hadn't had the opportunity to bake a cake this year, Terry thoughtfully decided to buy a beautifully decorated cake from their favorite local bakery. He also selected a charming bow for the dog, aiming to make the occasion even more memorable. Arriving home with the surprise cake and the charmingly accessorized dog, Terry felt a blend of nervousness and hope. He recognized the importance of these next steps. They were vital in healing the strained atmosphere at home. As he opened the door and let the terrier scamper in, his wife's expression was less than welcoming. She frowned at him, questioning, seriously, now I have to take care of a child and a dog while you spend all your days in the office. Terry felt a sting of hurt but managed to keep his smile, resisting the urge to grimace. 
he understood that his wife was just as overwhelmed as he was, perhaps even more so. And that she was still attending therapy sessions to find her path to recovery, he calmly explained that he had arranged for their housekeeper to take care of the dog's morning needs, which would allow him to manage the evening walks, he hoped the terrier would provide enough distraction for their son Timmy, giving her some much-needed personal time, with a bitter chuckle, she retorted, do you expect me to should we really leave our son alone with a dog he's unfamiliar with? Terry responded calmly, absolutely not, I just want you to oversee their interaction while they get acquainted, she retorted, he isn't able to play, he hasn't even learned to crawl yet, maintaining his calm, Terry assured her, he will, marking the conclusion of their exchange, she took the cake from him with hesitation and observed as he made his way to Timmy's room, the infant was in his crib, gripping a soft toy and cooing to himself, devoid of anyone to indulge him in the imaginative. Silly talks that ignite a child's creativity, Terry felt a pang of sadness for his son who spent most of his time in his room and had yet to mingle with other kids, resolved to change the situation, Terry picked Timmy up from the crib, lavished love on him, and carried him to the living room, there, the dog, adorned with its adorable bow, welcomed them with a joyful bark, Timmy's eyes lit up at the sight of his new furry pal. And he stretched out his hands excitedly as Terry placed him on the floor, positioned right behind his son, Terry whistled to draw the dog's attention, the terrier approached with a wagging tail, and Timmy patted its head, squealing joyfully, for a moment, the atmosphere in the room brightened, bringing a smile even to Terry's wife's face, as time went on, the dog became an integral part of the family infusing their lives with joy and a newfound sense of unity. The bond between Timmy and the terrier strengthened daily, turning a simple birthday surprise into a significant milestone for the family, healing old wounds and establishing new connections of love and understanding. In the Smith household, Terry made sure the new dog was well-fed each morning before he left for work. The housekeeper also played a crucial role in ensuring the dog always had enough food and water. Terry's wife, initially indifferent to the pet, gradually came to recognize its positive effect on their home, the once withdrawn child transformed remarkably, the usually quiet boy was now constantly giggling, eager to spend time on the floor playing with his new friend, his smiles welcomed Terry every evening, and his language skills started to improve noticeably, within weeks, even Terry's wife admitted the significant change the dog had brought about, their son, Timmy, had grown particularly attached to the terrier, his son Timmy who had previously struggled to sit up, now crawling energetically across the floor, delighted, Terry watched as Timmy moved confidently towards Duke, the family's cherished terrier, whose presence seemed to inspire the boy to reach this new level of mobility, the dog's friendly nature allowed Terry's wife more opportunities for her own self-care and relaxation, she now managed to participate in therapy sessions three times a week, and her overall mood experienced a significant uplift. Two months after adopting the dog, she even proposed taking Timmy and the dog for a stroll, affectionately naming the pet Duke. The atmosphere in the Smith household was flourishing, all thanks to the delightful terrier. In the months that followed, Terry observed a remarkable change in his son. The boy, who had difficulty even lifting his arms before, was now able to sit up on his own and eagerly scoot across the floor to follow Duke. The dog appeared to recognize Timmy's challenges and patiently waited while Timmy moved across the floor to engage with toys and balls. The results from Timmy's physical therapy were encouraging, his core muscles were becoming robust, nearly on par with his peers, and his leg muscles were also developing well. Although he had not yet started to crawl, Terry remained optimistic, this positive change extended to his wife, who became more interactive and cheerful. Often joining Timmy and Duke on the floor, her laughter enriching the home whenever Terry came back from work, Duke, with his wagging tail and loyal gaze, had become more than just a pet, he was a source of renewed joy and recovery for the family, Terry was profoundly grateful for Duke, whose arrival had serendipitously guided their lives towards happiness and recuperation, as the weeks turned into months, Timmy continued to flourish, showcasing the tremendous influence the small terrier had on the whole family, when Dr. Harrison relayed the news to Terry and his wife, their emotions overflowed with happiness, their newborn son, who was initially given minimal chance of thriving, was now beginning to bend his knees, this progress followed Duke's introduction into their lives, which inspired their son to defy the odds. Dr. Harrison pointed out that the boy's eagerness to interact and play with Duke was motivating him to move more. 
thus strengthening his muscles and spine. Although walking was still a distant goal, the doctor was hopeful that Timmy, now affectionately known as Timmy, would soon learn to crawl. This milestone arrived even quicker than anticipated. At 18 months old, Terry received an unexpected video call from his wife during his office hours, which typically made him anxious. However, his anxiety quickly turned to joy as he watched his son Timmy, who had previously struggled to move. Now energetically crawling across the floor towards Duke, in a video, Timmy was seen inching toward Duke, who teasingly clutched a ball in his jaws. Despite Timmy's legs being awkwardly bent, his laughter permeated the room, echoing with sheer joy. That night, the family indulged in a celebratory cake, a vivid departure from the subdued and tentative mood that accompanied Duke's initial arrival. Life seemed to be on an upswing. And Terry was enveloped in a profound feeling of satisfaction as he watched Timmy scoot across the floor, trying to match Duke's pace. On a serene Saturday morning, as Terry lounged on the porch with a book, he pondered Timmy's progress. The boy was now adept at crawling and had recently even mustered a gentle kick at a ball. Recollections of Timmy's second birthday, featuring him and Duke in coordinated outfits, brought a grin to Terry's face. By this time, Terry and his wife were confident enough to leave Timmy in a room alone with Duke, whose protective instincts remained ever vigilant. Amid the peaceful sounds of rustling leaves and chirping birds, Duke suddenly started barking nonstop. Terry was about to uncover that Duke had adopted a new set of instincts in this calm environment, comfortably settled in their living room. Terry was absorbed in a novel when he suddenly noticed Duke, their usually tranquil dog, acting unusually agitated. The dog's ceaseless barking broke the usual silence of their home, a stark contrast to the norm. Terry's wife was quickly finishing up a shower, and their son, little Timmy, was absorbed in play muttering to himself while arranging his toy soldiers, everything appeared normal, yet Duke's behavior indicated otherwise, thinking Duke was perhaps in a playful mood, Terry put his book down, grabbed a ball, and tossed it into the living room, hoping to entice the dog into a game of fetch, however. Duke completely disregarded the ball and kept on barking with noticeable urgency, initially amused by Duke's behavior, Terry's amusement quickly turned to concern as he realized that the dog's relentless barking might signify something more pressing. Intrigued and now somewhat worried, Terry decided to explore the cause of Duke's distress by following him to the source of his restlessness. The dog led him straight to the living room, where Terry was met with a surprising sight. Timmy, who had been playing there, was the focus of Duke's intense barking, diagnosed with a condition that was expected to prevent him from walking. He was now standing upright on his own two feet, deeply engrossed in his play. The scene was so touching that Terry felt his knees weaken, and he had to lean against the wall to prevent himself from falling, as he watched what he had thought to be impossible. His son, previously unable to walk, now moving freely, tears began to stream down his face. Overwhelmed by emotion, Terry could not hold back a loud sob, which drew Timmy's attention. With a puzzled look on his face, Timmy noticed his father in the doorway, tears in his eyes, and asked, Are you sad, Daddy? Trying to compose himself, Terry wiped his eyes and replied with a choked voice, No, Timmy, Daddy has never been happier. Timmy chuckled softly and went back to playing with his toys, seemingly unaffected by the remarkable event, gathering his strength. Terry hurried to the bathroom to share the amazing news with his wife, as he burst through the door. He found her just stepping out of the shower, without waiting for her to dress, he excitedly led her to the living room, upon seeing Timmy still standing and playing, she too was overcome by the miraculous sight and immediately fell to the floor in tears, as his mother wept, Timmy shuffled his tiny feet on the floor to maintain his balance and asked innocently, Mama, you too. She managed to reply through her tears, can you come to me, baby, Timmy, looking down at his once unreliable legs, hesitated. Unsure if he could walk the distance, despite the distance between them, a heartwarming scene unfolded as Duke, the spirited terrier the family had adopted a year earlier, came to his aid. Duke dashed toward the two-year-old and positioned himself supportively by his side, allowing Timmy to place a steadying hand on his furry companion's back. As Timmy wobbled toward his mother, she cheered him on, encouraging him to find his balance, though Timmy nearly lost his footing twice. Duke was right there, adjusting his pace to match Timmy's tentative steps, the pair slowly made their way across the room, and when Timmy finally reached his mother's open arms, even Duke let out a victorious yelp, celebrating the milestone, this tiny terrier, whom Terry had adopted without much thought of the profound impact he could have. 
had just taught his son an invaluable lesson, overwhelmed with emotion, Terry lifted Duke into a tight embrace, cherishing the heroic furry companion. This event not only deepened the family's love for Duke but also left Terry in awe of the small dog's significant impact. Duke had not just enabled Timmy to beat the odds, he also restored joy to his wife's expression and, unexpectedly, strengthened the family bond. Despite his diminutive stature, Duke had accomplished a monumental task. And Terry was eternally grateful for the dog's bravery and devotion. That concludes our tale for today. Have you ever known a pet that has helped its owners navigate health challenges? Would you have placed your faith in the process like Terry did? Please share your thoughts and comments below. Thank you for tuning in, and join us next time for another remarkable story.